Well, as you know, Laura, you were watching it this morning and many people getting ready for work or school were watching this whole entire story unfold and they were reacting. Some people even tweeted you saying the good, the bad and the ugly fry him. No punishment is severe enough. Just disgusting. There's also some people uh, sympathizing RIP. Phoebe, there's a lot of those tears for Phoebe, but why sad, 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 I'm disgusted. How could people be so mean and heartless? So many things to be said. Even mommy bloggers are writing about this, but we found out what the best way is to cope with tragedies like this and what some counselors are saying you should do to tell your children when they ask you about it tonight. Every day, a shooting, violent death, or crime plays out online and on TV, leaving people to wonder what happened and why. The Life Center counselor, Tom Brown, says reflecting is completely normal. We have that anger, we might have that shock, we might have that guilt, we might have that depression. And he says sharing your feelings is the best way to cope. Somehow, sharing it is a way of discharging some of the energy. For children, he says stories like John John Chuck, who police say threw his five-year-old off a bridge, may be frightening. What the child is going to think, oh my gosh, is mommy and daddy going to do this to me? Putting them at ease may be as simple as giving them a hug. Putting the arms around them, telling me you love them, you know. You want to say you love them, but you also want to let them feel it. But when you talk about the tragedy, Brown suggests you do it in small doses. And the children know. So we can't lie to the children. We have to tell the children the truth. Well, the reality is domestic situations like this will continue to happen. One in four women in their lifetime will see some sort of domestic violence abuse, which is pretty shocking to hear. Uh, so what can people do? They can call 911 if there's a life or death emergency. Also, there's hotlines out there where you can be anonymous and just ask questions if you just want to get some information. And I tweeted out one of those hotlines, the state hotline at Christy Post. And then we're also going to tweet that out from the now Tampa Bay account. And ABC Action News, we are committed to taking action against domestic violence. So we have plenty of resources there as well. We are. Thank you so much, Christy. I do appreciate it.